When Ohio experiences next month's total solar eclipse, Akron Children's Hospital expects to be among those in the path of totality. It's a pretty big area of our state going from Dayton all the way uh, up through Cleveland area, uh, but it's impacting about 114 hospitals. The Ohio Hospital Association says planning began in 2022, taking into consideration multiple potential challenges and scenarios. Are you uh, staffed up to the extent with bandages and uh, you know, medicines and, and other staffing? But we're telling them to gas up their cars because when they leave at the end of the day, there might be a lot of traffic. We're telling them if they have uh, child care or appointments right after work, make sure they have a plan B. Hospitals also concerned about patients with important appointments being able to make it there. You know, dialysis treatment to, um, you know, patient uh, follow-up appointments that uh, might be scheduled, things of that nature that definitely required some uh, planning ahead. And While hospitals across Ohio will be prepared for anything from the experience of others that have already been through this, eye injuries from staring into the sun are really among the lowest of their priorities. It is a concern, but we're hoping that the message is out there for safety for the day and um, that lots of folks are, I know schools are talking about wearing the protective glasses and helping kids prepare. We're doing the same thing. Hospitals using the experience they gained from the pandemic to prepare for crowds. We have systems that were developed through the pandemic to communicate and make sure that we can move patients and, and we balance resources if there's some kind of regional crisis. The planning has been substantial, but now that we're in kind of the, uh, almost within a month, you're gonna see a lot of that really amp up. Dave Nethers, Box 8 News.